Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a little extra upload talking about Road to the Finals. Today is a big Thursday with Champions League games being done yesterday. Those upgrades are set in stone for this coming Friday night. But we've got Europa League today, and I want to talk about the Europa League specifically, but these upgrades in general for more Road to the Final upgrades coming this Friday night. We're going to have the most cards upgraded that we will basically ever have because there's so many Europa League cards that will be getting upgraded as they go on to the round of 16. But also, before that upgrade happens for Europa League, we have a draw for the round of 16 to see which of those teams are moving on who they'll be playing and deciding those matchups. And that could swing some prices. So that I think is one part of the road to the final trading right now that is being overlooked. And I want to talk about that because that could seriously move a lot of cards. But I want to talk about upgrades in general. Um, talk about what we saw last week with Wijnaldum, with Salah, and these cards honestly going up a lot on the actual instant that they got upgraded. I don't know if there were many people as interested last week in the upgrades as there will be this week, of course, because you have Europa League cards getting upgraded. So let's talk about some of these upgrades and what could happen and specifically that UCL draw because we have a promo coming this weekend and that could impact some of these prices as well. And I want you guys to keep an eye on these cards. If the new promo stuff is really hyped up and these cards drop before their upgrade, that is one thing we'll be talking about today too. But we do have a couple more confirmed upgrades coming after the games this week. Rafael Varane and Real Madrid were down playing against 10 men. And they ended up getting the W1-0 because of a Furland Mendy uh, goal. And they are getting upgraded, right? Varane and Eden Hazard are both getting upgraded on Friday night. Now for the Champions League cards, we don't have to deal with any of the, you know, what's going to happen with the potential draw. The draw for these, of course, since it's only been one leg played for all the Champions League games, it's not for like a couple weeks yet. So it's only Europa League we have to deal with the draw. So this Hazard will go to a 91. Varane will go to an 89. Davies and Alaba are also going to get upgraded alongside of Gabriel Jesus, Joao Cancelo, Road to the Final, Mason Mount, and I think that covers my basis. Now, a lot of the cards that are getting upgraded are pretty expensive, for especially these Champions League cards. I don't think there's any Champions League cards that are getting upgraded that are on like the lower tier of price. Honestly, all the ones that are getting upgraded are pretty expensive with Cancelo being the cheapest one at 500k. This guy was 450,000 coins pre-game. He dropped down to about 490 post-game. And this is one that I want to talk about specifically because last week what we saw was every single road to the final item that got upgraded on sun on Friday night um, actually went up in price. Every single one of them. Even Brandt went from 140 after the whole incorrect upgrade debacle. Went from 140. He's now 189. Salah went from 2 mil flat to 2.4. Wijnaldum went from 615 to 680. Akanji went extinct. You had a lot of movements on a lot of those car on all of those cards that got upgraded. Now this week there's going to be a lot more eyes on that situation, and a lot more people are investing for the possible rise after the upgrade. So this Cancelo is up already. He's being invested, and people are buying this card back, and they've bought him back almost twenty thousand coins. He was down to five hundred below five hundred, and now he's back up to five fifteen, five twenty. All I have to say here is definitely, definitely watch out for the continued investing because. At what point is this card just overpriced? And part of and, and at what point is the amount of hype on Manchester City and just the the run that they are on right now, how much is that priced into this card for being as expensive as it is? Um, or, of course, for them going all the way and winning the Champions League, I think that kind of stigma is priced into this card a little bit. And the same thing with Gabriel Jesus. I mean, this Gabriel Jesus card is one point. 1 million coins, 1.092. One of the most rare rows of the finals out there. He's 86 rated. I mean, this card looks pretty good. Give him a plus one. He'll look even better. But still, three-star weak foot. Yeah, you know, high, high work rates. It is what it is. Like, I think a lot for these city cards, a lot of the price is built in that they could go on and win. And that's why they're so expensive. The same thing with Alaba and Davies. They had that potential to go on and win because those teams are just so powerful. And what I would watch for, especially on Cancelo, as we head into the upgrade time frame, is a possible dip, like when he gets upgraded or in the morning after when he gets upgraded. Because again, these cards get upgraded late at night. Late at night, like midnight UK time, 1 a.m. UK time on Friday night into Saturday is when you will see these upgraded or when sh they should be upgraded. Um, 
And honestly, if you see this Cancelo get back up to 560 or 570 by the time that that comes or that upgrade will be happening, I would honestly just be a little bit scared again of that overinvestment because people that bought the card um, and haven't sold yet are looking to sell when the upgrade happens. People that are investing in the card right now after he's dropped post game and, buy, game and buying it back up, they're gonna sell probably when that upgrade happens. So you might even have more of a sell off on cards that get over invested when the upgrade happens. I'm worried about that on Cancelo the most, but these other cards are so rare and so high rated, like this hazard at 1.2 mil, give this guy a plus one rating. And these guys are so rare, literally two pages on the market of hazard. Now, of course, when he gets upgraded, he'll have a little bit more supply, but I do think that some of these uh, some of these cards will go up in price. Alaba still, I feel like, is pretty invested in. Same thing with Davies. I think Davies is still, honestly, too close to his team of the year item, honestly, to be as expensive as he is. Uh, but I would I would specifically watch Jesus, Ver Varane, and Hazard. These two, big time. I mean, I think Varane's going to be over 2 million coins when he gets that upgrade, unless we have a big time promo this weekend that really drops his price. But if this guy's back down, he was 1.89 uh, post game today. If he's back down towards 1.9 mil or lower than that, same thing with Hazard. If he's in like the one ones, I would get very interested because again, the rare card that we saw last week did cr incredibly well was this Salah going from 2 million coins when it got upgraded to 2.4. Even a guy like Wijnaldum, who went from 615 to 680, that's a really nice boost. And then to watch out again for those plus twos, and that's what I'll talk about specifically with these Europa League cards next, is watch out for those plus twos, because there are some plus two upgrades that could be happening with Europa League cards that could really spike these cards in price, depending on how much they're going for and what we have time frame wise with the promo coming out there's a lot of 84 europa league cards like bibu would go a plus two sissoko is getting a plus two right we're in the spurs kit today because uh tottenham is going on to the round of 16 confirmed this is the only europa league card that is confirmed right now as i'm recording this cassie is an 84 right bruno perez tyson both 84 renato sanchez if they can come back and beat ajax getting a plus two there Rebic could get a plus two so Big time potential for big price swings on these Europa League cards. The first Europa League card that I want to talk about is Quincy Promes because this guy, I got lucky enough to sell mine on Wednesday night. Actually, yes, no, Tuesday night, a day before this. I sold him at 330,000 coins, which was legit his peak. He is now down to 190K. He was 160 at one point. People are saying, yo, Quincy Promes... Yes, he did transfer, and that's why he is dropping down so much. He's dropping down because people are thinking his card is not going to get upgraded, which it shouldn't be because he's no longer at Ajax. And according to EA Sports, on their own rules here, they say what happens if a player transfers or stops playing for a club in the tournament? If a player is no longer on the roster of the club in either tournament, they will receive they will not receive any further upgrades. So, of course, Quincy Promes, Ajax themselves tweeted out this morning, I think I quote tweeted it, they said that he has transferred back to Spartak in Russia. So this card is no longer live the way that I understand it. Now, of course, you might be able to read that and say, well, he still might be on the roster because it happened so fast before the game. Literally it happened the day before they were going to play. But in my eyes, EA are going to know that this guy is not at Ajax anymore. He didn't play in the last game. He didn't play in the first leg last week. But I still think this Quincy Promas is not getting upgraded, but people still think that he is. He got bought from 160 all the way up to 190. I would watch for this card to continue selling off and maybe, especially if Ajax win, he, he might even go up some more, but I would expect him when the upgrades come out and he does not get upgraded, then he would drop a, a pretty favorable amount. And this card basically now is just a special um, inform with no upgrades coming for it because he literally is not supposed to get any upgrades. I also could see EA messing up, thinking that he's still at Ajax for some reason since the transfer happened so fast, or just lazily upgrading the card because they know that Ajax won, all right? That's potential as well, and I'm going to say that's an EA mistake if they upgrade this card because he is not no longer on that, on that roster. He's no longer on that team, so I don't think he's going to get upgraded. If you're making coins off of that potential hype, though, GG's, that's a good read of the market. Now, looking at some of these other cards, right? Sissoko, this guy's getting a plus two. But again, with these Europa League cards, there's an extra caveat, right? There's an extra caveat with these because 
As we see over here on the Europa League website, the Europa League round of 16 draw takes place on February 26th, which is Friday. So the day after today, tomorrow, Friday, before the content drop of the new promo, because this goes live at uh, 13 Central, what is it, Central European time, which I think this is UK time. So I think this is six hours ahead of me in Eastern time zone. So I think that's 1 p.m. UK or something like that, which is like 7 a.m. for me. So Friday morning, Friday morning, you're going to see these Europa League cards moving around. So whoever, whoever wins today on Thursday, whoever wins today on Thursday between a lot of these clubs, right? You're going to see their cards go up for the potential upgrade. But then what happens is you're not out of the woods yet because what if Spurs, let's say Manchester United today, I don't know if this is even possible, how random the draw is or if they kind of organize it or whatever so that teams from the same leagues don't match up. But let's say Spurs somehow draw Man U, right? Right now, this Sissoko card is very expensive. He's going to get a plus two and he's going to get a plus two upgrade regardless on um, on Friday night. But if Friday morning, if Spurs draw Man U, obviously we'd be like, okay, Spurs might not win that game. You might see Sissoko start dropping because people think he they might not win the next game, but he's still doing an upgrade. He's still doing an upgrade later that night. So if you see panic selling on cards that are guaranteed an upgrade, which all of them will be if they're in the round of 16, definitely keep a watch in that situation. If it's a meta card or if it's a very popular one that people are watching the upgrade for because of the potential boost that card could have once it does get that increased rating. So Soko, I think is, you know, it seems really expensive right now. This guy's literally got Vieira stats though. He's so rare. And he, after his game today, he was down to 1.4 million coins flat almost. This guy fluctuates a ton. So I would not be surprised if Spurs get a tough matchup. If this card would drop a bit, make it possibly flippable later into the nighttime. Uh, because when these guys do get upgraded for their plus twos, I mean, this card's going to look ridiculous. He's probably going to shoot up in price a little bit, depending on what's going on in the game, of course, with the new promo. But that's why I want to point out these Road to the Final cards. Um, focus on the ones that, you know, of course, as we say this a lot, fill a need or fill a position that needs uh, some filling, right? Strikers in the Bundesliga. You got Holland, you got Lewandowski, and now you have this the Renier objective card. But this Bibu card getting a plus two might push him to 98 pace. That's ridiculous. 98 pace on this card. Four-star skills. I know he only has a three-star weak foot, but he's going to get mid-90s finishing most likely. This card's going to look insane with a plus two boost. Kessie. I mean, this card is also rivaling Sissoko and Renato Sanchez for how insane he's going to look with a plus two. If Milan can pull off the W today, this guy's going to look nuts. This guy's going to look insane, man. He's going to get he's gonna get his 80 pace. He's going to be club 80. He's going to be Hullet Gang and probably 95 physical, right? This card's going to be nuts. So I'm just saying, watch out for those with, for the draw with these Europa League cards. But I do feel like a lot of these cards will go up in price after their upgrade is possibly coming on Friday night. So the one thing to watch for, though, is let's say these guys win today. Let's say Kessie goes back up to almost 800,000 coins with that guaranteed update grade at his absolute peak, right? Milan score, they win, boom. He's 800K. Post game, he drops back off to maybe 720. That's when you get interested because if a card went all the way up, is super duper high in game, when that potential, when, when basically the upgrade was secured because they, um, because they, you know, got the lead or they're going to win the game they scored a goal to put them ahead and the upgrade looks to be like it's going to happen be happening that's where you you see that peak price you're like okay if this guy gets an upgrade he could very well get there depending on how hype it is you know how big of the boost is and stuff like that and watch the drop off post game because that's where we could possibly tonight on thursday night snag a couple cards that get low hold them into the day tomorrow or see if there are any fluctuations because also as i talked about with the draw the the opposite could happen right the opposite could happen so let's say like tottenham draw man U, and it's not looking good for tottenham right because we're not playing very hot but let's say arsenal finish off benfica today and arsenal are gonna get matched up against let's say granada pull off the upset against napoli it's arsenal versus granada or arsenal versus shakhtar or a team that would be a quote-unquote easier matchup then you might see a guy like a yang when this happens today or when this happens on friday morning or friday midday when wherever it's being held 
Switzerland, let, you, you might see that Aubameyang go up in price because again, people were like, hey, that's another potential upgrade happening. So I just wanted to kind of throw out the idea of the the draw for the Europa League and how that could impact prices on Friday morning. But same thing that we talked about with Cancelo. There's a lot of these Europa League cards that are overinvested. And I do fear a little bit of potential for dropping post game because people just like to sell these cards post game for whatever reason. But I also fear just a, that little bit of overinvestment and the possibility. Wait, what? This Bruno Perez was too. 250 and 234 right there. I'm going to flip that really fast. I just fear the possibility of overinvestment and that people are waiting for the upgrade for these cards uh, to go up in price. But I think there is going to be a window where you will see these cards actually go up um, and you'll, be, or you'll have a buy time after they get sold off post game. And then you will see when the upgrades actually happen, people will see the stat boost on a card like this, getting a plus two, 95 pace, 82 shot, 73 shooting, 80 physical, 84 defense, high 80s dribbling. This card is going to be taking over and rivaling Quadrado as the best right back in the Serie A, bar the links, of course, to the Piemonte Calcio Juventus players. But... I think this card's going to be stacked. It's going to be ridiculous when he does get that upgrade. So I'm going to list this up for like 259 or something like that. Make a little quick flip out of it. But definitely 100% watch out for the boost. I do think especially with those plus twos, you could see a spike in price. And a lot of what we saw with the actual road to the finals like Salah, like Wijnaldum, Akanji, not all of the rises in price were instantaneous. A lot of them were a little bit later. Like people saw the upgrade the morning after, Saturday morning, and they went out and they bought those cards because they looked cracked. They looked sick, right? Salah went from 2.1 to 2.4 that, that literal morning because they saw the upgrade on the card. So especially for a high tier player that's rare like Varane, Jesus, Alaba, Davies, Hazard, Maybe you see the card not you know, when you see the upgrade happen. If you're on late night UK or evening time US or wherever that is for the world in the world for you, like midnight UK time, watch and look and see if the upgrade looks really, really good on the card. That's why a kanji exploded, right? If the upgrade looks really good, if they give Varan like plus two pace, if they give him 91 defending, 86 physical, you're like, all right, this card's definitely going to be two mil because of the upgrade. Or if they, you know, if they sauce up Gabriel Jesus to like, in 90 pace, 90 shot, 92 dribbling, or whatever the case may be. Like if they give Cancelo 91 pace and they, if they make the boost really good, all I'm saying is you might see an extra bit of a rise on that card after the upgrade happens. And that's more potential to make profit from that. So if you have road to the final investments already, as I always say, the pregame sell is the safe way the pregame sell is the safe way right depending on let's say you have a guy like bruno perez you know with the position that roma are in what happens if they choke it today this guy's two hundred sixty thousand coins right just kind of keep that in mind that selling pregame is always the best take your profit like i have a bibu that i bought at two hundred and thirty seven thousand coins i think and he's what 290 or something so i'm probably going to sell this pregame probably going to sell it see if he can maybe creep up creep up to almost 300k pregame sell the card and then whatever happens after that happens and we'll adjust accordingly but again a couple things to watch for today watch the cards that win the cards that win in europa league today or the cards that won yesterday or on tuesday for champions league watch those cards and see if they drop off a little bit lower tonight and especially with the new promo coming, if there's any panic selling on those on Friday morning for the Champions League cards. And then with the draw, the guys that win and the guys are getting upgrades, watch those drop-offs because there's potential for them to rebound when the upgrade happens if overinvesting is not a thing and if those upgrades are good. Now, one last point. Let's say some of these guys lose today. Arsenal Benfica's 1-1 draw right now. Let's say for some reason Benfica beat Arsenal today and Arsenal's in the mud. Watch a card like this Aubameyang. These road to the final cards are very rare. They're still really cool looking, especially the road, the Europa League ones with the yellow. These guys will drop off and they will bounce back. Kind of how Promes did. It went down to 160, then went to 190. Some of these cards will just get too low and they will bounce back because they're rare and they look cool. So keep that in mind as well. If a card becomes no longer live today because their team lost, Keep that in mind for all of these. I think you will see some rebound on them after they reach a low point per se, after all the panic selling happens. Because if these guys lose, the panic selling is ridiculous because of course people in the game know that they are no longer 
live items. So definitely keep an eye on these cards. They're going to be very profitable. They're going to be fluctuating a lot. And of course, with this new promo coming too, we're going to have to keep an eye and see what EA does with that and how, um, if there's any panic selling on cards like these, we to the finals too. That's I'm going to be really watching these cards this weekend 100%. So if that helped you at all, a lot of information about Road to the Finals. That's why I wanted to make it a separate video. But if that helped at all, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.